back again to another Java short tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about something called multiple class inheritance. Uh, which in a way itself is not really a completely correct term, but let me explain. In one of my previous videos, I created a abstract class called bank account, which had an abstract method calculate interest. I created a savings account class that extended from bank account and thus inherited all its properties and methods and was forced to override, uh, to override the calculate interest method because it was an abstract method. Same thing goes for savings uh, for current account that I've also created. And that's where it stopped. So what am I going to talk about today is multiple class inheritances. So say if we want to inherit want our super sub sorry a child class to inherit from multiple super classes. Well, let me tell you that straight off the back, this is not possible. A child class can only inherit from one super class. Uh, sorry, one parent class or uh, one subclass can only inherit from one superclass. But still, sometimes we don't want to use the superclass to force all the methods, because in some cases it could be optional. Um, say, for example, I want to add some additional methods to savings accounts, but I don't want to add these additional methods to current accounts, which means that I cannot define them inside my superclass. So how can we solve that? Well, we can simulate multiple inheritance using a interface, which I've also introduced in a previous video. So how does that work? Well, say for example, I would like savings account to have some additional operations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a interface, in this case called bank operations interface. And like with every other interface, I'm going to define some methods there. So um, public, um, well, double. Mm. I'm just trying to think of what is the the, the most convenient to demonstrate. Uh, deposit money. So in this case, we're going to deposit a certain amount. And if we can deposit we also want to withdraw money. And why am I returning a double? Basically I want the new amount of the bank account to be returned, just so uh, you can see better what is actually happening. So now I'm going to my savings account, which is extending bank account, and then simply say implement uh, bank operations interface. So there we go. And now we again get an error because we are forced to implement the methods from the interface. So as you can see in this particular case, even though savings account and current account have the same superclass, current account is not forced to implement these methods because they come from the interface and not the superclass. Okay, so deposit money in this case. Um, I'm going to say okay. Um, super dot uh, set amount is super dot get amount plus the amount deposit. And then I'm simply going to return super dot get amount. Okay, it's a bit of a. Uh, uh, complicated way around it, but it'll definitely work. So in this case, uh, super dot set amount is super dot get amount minus the amount because we're withdrawing it. And in that case, I also want to retrieve the amount again and return it. So there we go. So now let's go to the uh, test bank account. So in this particular case, I can also say acc one dot uh, deposit money. So let's deposit a hundred dollars, and then print out the result. Re 
result after deposit is the result. And let's at the same time also demonstrate uh, withdraw money. So let's uh, withdraw $50. And I'll reuse the same result variable, so result after withdraw. Okay, we still, so that should print some results. We still have the current account here. And as you can see, ACC2 dot uh, deposit money does not exist. Why? Because current account doesn't implement that interface. So in this case, I can just remove it. Alright, so now if I run this, you can see, okay, the result after the deposit of 100 is 2095. Well, we started out with a 12095, so that's correct. Then minus 50 would be 17095, so indeed correct. So let's recap. Uh, to simulate multiple class inheritance, which is technically speaking not allowed, I have created a interface called bank operations interface which has some methods uh, which is implemented by savings account by still extending bank account but also implementing bank operations interface and therefore needs to override them and implement them while the current account does not so in a way i'm using this to simulate multiple class inheritance and that's how you do it one of the more complicated java topics see you next time mm -hmm.